Um, so James and Alex are first. Yeah. I guess that's the same. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Uh, nope. These two never got to play, so. Or these four. Oh, they didn't? Yeah. Hmm. I thought they played in semis. Um, or winners' finals. Because no, Alex that was they Trash Man in Royal Spring, because oh, they okay. beat Joel and Wamsa. Yeah, yeah. So, James got whooped while we were fixing the header. I don't know hmm. what happened. That was nice. Do you know how I switch this? Which one this is? Because it's not the header. Um, bottom? Oh, bottom. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Chris Kane wants a warm says coming from losers, so. I think they, they pretty handily beat um, Royal Spring and Trashman in the run back, so yeah, yeah, expect, them, expect this to actually be close. Uh -huh. They should have some momentum going into this set, and they're taking up a two-stock lead, so... Yeah, but Joel's defensive play, uh, he just, he keeps Alex busy for a very long time, so... Yeah, he does. He's, uh, he's good at not getting edgeguarded, even though Alex is really, really good at edgeguarding. Yeah. He knows how to stay alive. So, I think Joel's kind of banking on Wamsa to just hold his own, right? Yeah. That was oh, nice. that was nice, yeah. Wamsa's now they got the 2v1. Oh, oh, that was really good. So... No. I guess just try all of them, I guess. So do you know do you know the record between Joel and Alex just like personally in singles? In singles, um I don't I've, heard, know. I've heard Alex's side and I don't really I, I don't remember them playing too often. Usually, like when Alex was in Calgary, Joel usually had the upper hand. But uh, I think Alex might have t taken a set off him before. I'm not sure. Because I don't know much about James' experience against Yoshi. Yeah, um, me neither. I figured Alex might know the matchup. Mm -hmm. I think Alex usually beats Wamsa or Poppin' Fresh, so. Seems like they're doing a lot better this game too, though. Blue team. And they chose to run it back to Battlefield as well, too. So. Yeah, it is kind of weird. And I've been noticing uh, with the. Fox Yoshi team, both of them are kind of just going really aggressive, and neither of them is really playing a support role, and they're just going for the one on ones more than. Yeah, I, uh, think, I think they just play one on ones until they're yeah. able to isolate someone. Yeah. Because the matchup between Joel and Alex, they're both rather defensive, so eventually one of them will just add space to the other, and yeah. they'll get a moment of time to just 2v1 James. Alex gets a double down smash. That was the questionable VR. <laughs> yeah. It's 
see if JV can get this up there. He does it. This is still possible for Red Team if they can get a kill on on JV and then Alex, but he should recover. Yeah, it's looking a bit grim now. Wamsa is kind of just running into moves now. Yeah, he is. That's. I think James Game is switching two. up the, the way he's playing. Yeah. I think Wamps is trying to slow it down. He opened the game with a lot of defensive fares, just hoping Alex would come in with an uphill. What do you think of the counterpick as for Dreamland? Uh, this, this is actually what I thought Blue Team would have counterpicked game two. Yeah. I feel like Yoshi is pretty good here, but it doesn't... Like, his recovery like, stays the same on most stages, so... Like, he'll obviously live longer, but yeah. it just means he'll get back aired again. Yeah. And his movement... I think it hinges a lot on platforms, and he's yeah. not really able to cover center stage with his movement here. Yeah. Like, in order to do those uh, re retreating defensive fares I was talking about, he had to drop from top flat and just hope no one intercepts him. Also, you have to keep in mind the fact that um, space recovery can take a long time on this thing, and Yoshi kind of has to set up his edge guards. So yeah, that's true. There's a lot of chance to intervene, and I know Alex is pretty proficient at the Alex saving is, the lasers. Yeah, the lasers he uses to stop edge guardings are really good. So. And they also coordinate, like James will just go straight into a laser while yeah. he's recovering. It seems like they got their edge guarding down as a team, so it's going to be hard for that team to make it back. Like, Yoshi is a, ve a very imposing threat when you have both of them there. Yeah. In order to throw out a threatening hitbox, they'll have to jump in. Yeah. And it seems like they're trying to edge guard one, and then the other teammate will grab the other player so that they can't intervene in the edge guard, really. Yeah. That was nice. I also haven't seen Joel really get anything started this game. Yeah, he's. He picks up an edge guard there, fortunately. That's pretty good, so. It kind of seems like Blue's just winning a lot of the skirmishes that they're having. They're not really getting many too big combos, but they're continuously winning the neutral, so... There's a good laser save by Alex. And because Yoshi takes so long to set up edge guards, they can't really react to it. So this is okay, possible. It's, it's kind of... It's not Alex really will close, just play but... Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, that, that that's works. Yeah, so wow, I did not <laughs> think that worked. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's story. I think. Uh, normally in singles, the stage isn't that great for Yoshi because he gets yeah. all, he gets bullied in close quarters. But I think with Alex, just knocking him down for most of the game should be it, it basically takes Falco yeah. out. I think they're just trying to close in on them because they realize the big stage didn't work well for them. So and maybe Yoshi can utilize his movement a bit better here. And uh, JV and Pop and Fresh are also. With the recoveries, they're not taking. They're make, making sure they're quick and. Uh, like, I don't want to say, like. 
like very obvious, but they're yeah. choosing very quick recovery because they know Yoshi takes some set up. Yeah. And if they get hard red, which is basically Yoshi's only chance to cover those very fast and unreactable edge guards, is um the other one could just run in because they're just gonna hit off stage again. Yeah. It just seems Joel's having trouble getting clean hits on people, and yeah, that unfortunate SD for Lanza. I think the main reason they're behind so much is they're not closing their edge guards too well, except for just then. But <laughs> blue team I is doing a lot better at that. Like, with Wamsa, he can't really go for long combos and, and doubles, so... Yeah. He's basically just getting chip damage every so often, and he's not he's not getting, like, brutally outplayed to say anything, but... Yeah. It's just like, Yoshi can't really fin... He can't go for, like, a quick finisher. <laughs> like, even that down smash, that's probably his best option to get, yeah. get them at the best angle off stage, but... Against if, Falco, Yoshi can get some pretty quick gems, but it's just not really happening for them. But they're they have very obvious setup. Yeah, yeah, they so do. James can intervene if he's privy to it. And we see the same thing as the last couple of games where Yoshi's left in the two v one and doesn't look too good for red team. <laughs> well, now it's possible. Uh, yeah, it's possible. I think he does. Oh, he has his jump back. So. Alex should try to utilize the shine, being able to break the armor, because he can is, just go out there. This is such a point I didn't even notice. Yeah, it is. Looks like that's going to yeah, be. That's grand finals. That's grand finals. Well, it's pretty quick, so. Popping fresh and JV win doubles. Yeah, they managed to keep.